Hey, this is Matt Moore from Brody Precision. In this video, we are going to take a look at Niagara Recover. This is the new backup service from Tritium that backs up your stations to the cloud. This will be the first video in a series of videos on Niagara Recover. And in this video, we're just going to be looking at the features and, and a basic overview of what Niagara Recover is and why it might be a good fit for you and probably is. So Niagara Recover, as the name suggests, we're backing up to the cloud. We're backing up to the Niagara Cloud, or Niagara Cloud uh, specifically. So what this does is it takes your Niagara backups uh, from a JSON or a supervisor, pushes them up to the cloud. This can be done on demand. So, you know, backup now goes up and backs up, or it can be done on a scheduled basis, uh, whatever you need for your particular sites. The other thing with uh, Niagara now, pretty much uh, completely, is that it's secure by default. So that means that the backup file that you're sending is going to be encrypted, and that's what this edist2 file is. Um, basically an encrypted distribution file that is encrypted using the passphrase of the station. And the backup is also going to be encrypted in transit to the server. With the current setup with uh, Niagara Recover, you get to have five backups up there in the cloud, as well as an additional backup that you can mark as preferred, um, and that would be something that you know is a good baseline. So if you're backing up continuously, you know, on a scheduled basis, those five backups are going to get filled up potentially with some things that maybe a user changes that you didn't want changed or something like that. With the preferred backup, you can mark a backup that is made as known good. This is a backup where I know exactly what the state of the station is and everything is, is good to go there. So it's just a nice little feature. So you basically get six backups. Requirements. So you've got to be on an actively supported version of Niagara. You should be anyways. So that means you're going to be on the LTS version or you're going to be on the current version. You have to be using a JSON or a supervisor and you have to have an active SMA. So features. One of the main, main features of this is that there's no size limit. So that includes the giant stations that you could potentially have on a supervisor as well as those J stations that maybe are creeping up towards the edge of their uh, the the file size uh, requirements in the JS. you know you're running out of, of space on the JS itself backing up those backups to the cloud no size limit they can be as big as you want that means including your histories and alarms in the backups um, and the only limitation there is your 5 plus 1 that we talked about earlier. The other really slick features are the, the cloud management portion. Um, this uses the Niagara Cloud, so you can log in to your cloud account and uh, set up specific devices for specific users. You can add in notes to those individual backups. If you know you change something on a particular backup at a particular time, you can make those notes in there. And then you can download any of those backups, as I mentioned before, and they will be encrypted. You'll need to know the passphrase in order to use them. Um, and then you can manage all of your backups from there across any job or any customer. So long as it's associated with you and you set it up, you'll have uh, access and visibility there. So purchasing. Uh, this is done on a yearly subscription basis, uh, which makes sense. Their Niagara is... Um, using cloud storage in order to uh, hold these backups for you. So they've got costs that they need to cover. Um, and the, the costs are actually, I think, pretty reasonable for what you get compared to like a consumer backup product, something like Backblaze or something like that. These prices for the specialized uh, requirements that we have, uh, very reasonable. And you've got two part numbers for that. So you have NCS Recover, which is going to be for your Jace and NCS Recover Soup, which is going to be for your supervisor. So that does it for this video. A uh, really quick overview of what uh, Niagara Recover is. And um, I think most people probably could get some pretty good use out of this. Uh, I always feel like the more backups you have, the better. Uh, 
you'll never get bit by having too many backups. Not having enough backups will always get you at some point. So uh, stay tuned for more videos in this series where we'll actually go in and set everything up. Um, but until then, I hope this was helpful. And uh, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.